Summer Mount Waddington. We'll survive the evening. I think it might be a cold night. Well, we are in Jackson Hole and we just got to the house of pretty special person, someone I've kind of wanted to pick their brain for quite a bit of time. As I started to dream up of this project, the 50 project, um, someone mentioned to me, it was actually Chris Rubens, he was like, oh, is this like the Smiley's project? And I'm like, I have no idea what you're talking about. And I started digging into it and I realized that there's this couple, Mark and Janelle Smiley, who were trying to do the 50 classic climbs of North America, which was actually the basis for the book, The 50 Classic Descents of North America. Now we're here in Jackson where he lives and uh, we're gonna hopefully learn something from him and maybe go for a little ski too. Let's go in. Mark. Hey man. Nice to meet you finally. Yeah, you too. Welcome to Wyoming. Wow, well, thank you. Come on in. Sweet. Hey, I'm Bjarne. Nice to meet you, Mark. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Nice to meet you, Cody. So, who's this? This is our daughter, Sela. Oh, big yawn. The Smiley's Project was an effort to climb all the 50 classic climbs in North America, which were based from this book of the same name. And my wife and I, over the course of seven years, attempted to climb all 50 of them, and we succeeded on 48. How did it feel to like commit to something like that? To like just start absolutely in the dark? Like you guys started before you even read the book and not know the way, but just go to try. Well, I think it really started right before we got married. Mark went into the mountains and climbed a bunch of big lines and then he was pulling some aspen trees out of a, out of a tree and he fell and he landed with a giant rock next to his head and next to his spine. And at that point he's like, wow, life is short and we don't get to decide when we when we go, so let's make let's, let's make this life an adventure. He came home and he said, John, I got this great idea. Let's climb the 50 classic climbs in North America. And I'm like, well shoot, I, I love adventures. Climbing's super fun. Let's let's do it. Well, we are getting the sun coming up. It's been a glorious morning. We're staring straight at the middle nipple, middle teton. Looks beautiful. What I remember thinking too, when you have a list, you, there's like this, this intrinsic motivation that just keeps you going. And I remember looking at other climbers that were just climbing for, for sake of climbing, I'm like, I mean, don't you have to have a goal? <laughs> but I'm very goal oriented. <laughs> and, you know, having something to work towards is super motivating. It's beautiful and it's warm. These are just one of those glorious days in the mountains. But yeah, we're like, I don't know, 300, 400 vert from the top. And not a cloud in the sky. I remember thinking like, I don't know if this is possible. I don't know if I have the capacity to keep going. The thought of like, why hasn't someone climbed all of them? I mean, that just is where my mind went. And it turns out that they haven't all been climbed because it takes a whole lot of dedication and a whole lot of talent. That's like the ultimate goal is something that you don't know if it's possible or not, but like stokes the passion inside of you and keeps you motivated. Yeah. And that's what this project did for us for seven years. Top of Mount Teton! Woo -woo. On top of Mount Robson, that was awesome. And that was like a, a coming of age. The fun part of the day. I mean, it's all been fun, but this is truly. Yahoo! So we gotta pick our way, kind of billy goating through this top rock section and then jump on the steepest part and dive into this thing. And what I learned is the best 
place to be with your mindset is to be open. To be open to whatever experience you're gonna have and know that that's the experience you need to embrace. And it's almost a little bit of like surrendering to the, the present moment and whatever experience is in front of you gives you the best outcome. We were just excited. We had climbed a whole bunch before this. We came to the table with experience and then you gained so much more. That was one of the cool things about the project. And I think it looks like got a party lap from here on out. Yeah, it's a definitely some slot moving that Ronald probably took some beating. Yeah. So uh, out here and just freaking party on lane. Three, two, one, dropping. We knew early on that we didn't want this to be a Moby Dick, where we're gonna pursue this until we get it. You know, come hell or high water. And we were, we gave it a valiant effort, seven years of our prime climb time season, you know, of life. And it was great. Oh yeah! Powder! quality snow. Yeah, buddy. Nick. Oh, that was fantastic way to end it. That was really good snow. That was really good. But at the same time, like there's this like angel demon thing where it's like, oh, you're quitting. I'm not quitting on climbing. I'm not quitting on adventures. I'm quitting on this, this list. That, by the way, tried really hard to kill us. And I'd like staying alive. We were like, maybe we could go back, but we also are getting kind of old, so we need to start a family too. Yeah, dude! Woo! Another day, another classic. Woo! Check, Good job. check. We aim really high for a really big thing, like you're doing. If you fail at that from the world's perspective, you haven't failed. And that's what was hard for me to get through my head. Because really the wrong mindset was, what's the difference between having 47 done and having 49 done? You're not done. Nice job, man. Yeah, you fun skiing. That was awesome. That was great. That was super inspiring. Stoked. I just love being out. I know, same here. It's it's nice like one. Back for a late lunch. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think if I were to give advice, which you're not asking for, but it'd be like make a list and make it in pencil and do what inspires you because that's what I think keeps motivating. Or like what we did, like alter it to something that is doable or, you know, relatively safe if conditions don't allow for it. Like this wasn't worth dying for and we made some conservative calls, which I think we're still here, but we didn't finish our list. So screw lists. <laughs> <laughs>